Hello friends, this is Ralph and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm talking about the Behringer Mix Sequencer Module 1050. So stay tuned. The Mix Sequencer Module 1050 is an 8-channel mixer sequencer from the Behringer 2500 Eurorack module range. If you are new to the 2500 modules, then please watch my beginner video on the 2500 system. The link is provided in the video description below. The 1050 mix sequencer works with CV signals and with audio signals. In today's video, I will only focus on routing CV signals through the 1050 by showing you how to use the 1050 as a sequential switch for the 1027 8 step sequencer. How to use the audio mixer options of the 1050 mix sequencer will be the topic of another forthcoming tutorial. So just make sure you hit that subscribe button if that is something that is of interest to you. And for all those who are new here, Please be informed that you also find many tutorials about the functions of the 2600 semi-modular synthesizer here on my channel. And now let's jump over to the 1050 mix sequencer, the 1027 8 step sequencer and the Behringer 2600 Blue Marvin. The mix sequencer module 1050 here works with control voltages and with audio signals. In today's video, I will only focus on control voltages and on using the 1050 as a sequential switch for the 1027 step sequencer here. That means we are routing CV signals from the 1027 through the 1050 mix sequencer in order to expand the 8 steps of the 1027 to 24 steps. Please note that I have already made a detailed tutorial about the 1027 step sequencer. So if you are not familiar with that device, then I encourage you to watch the 1027 video as well. I will provide the link to that tutorial in the video description below. The 1027 sequencer has 8 steps and 3 channels. Here are the steps 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and channel A, B and C. All three channels run simultaneously and they cannot be decoupled. In order to expand the 8 steps to 24 steps, we have to use the 1050 mix sequencer to play all three channels in sequence one after the other. Now let me show you how we are patching this. So the first thing is we take the clock out here on the 1027 and send a gate signal to the envelopes here on the Behringer 2600 synthesizer. Then here, output A. With this output, we are going to send the CV or pitch signal to all three oscillators here on the Behringer 2600 synthesizer. If you don't know how to do this, then I encourage you to watch my beginner video series about the Behringer 2600, ARP 2600 or any other 2600 clone. I put the link to that playlist in the video description as well. So now, the first thing we are going to do is that we take the channel output A and plug it here into input 1 on the 1050 mix sequencer. So we take the channel B output and plug it here into input number 2 and finally we take output of channel C and plug it here into input 3. The next thing we are going to do, and that's important, we take the position gate number one and plug it here into the external advance slot here on the 1050. So that means the sequencer is going through all eight steps and uh, when it reaches position gate number one, position gate number one will advance the 
mix sequencer module 1050 to the next channel. Let me demonstrate this manually first. In order to do this, we have to put here the this switch here into the eight step mode and then we ta uh, turn the counter to number three because we are going to work only with the first three channels and for this we also have to make sure that we turn the attenuators all the way to the right the input attenuators and here the output attenuator as well. So because this CV output is being sent to the VCOs of the 2600 synthesizer. Now I open the CV, uh, the VCF here on the 2600 and I can also demonstrate the behavior of the attenuator So you see how the attenuator is affecting the pitch. But anyway, we are now here on channel A, step number one. So I manually step through the sequence now. I'm at step number eight. And now when I go back to step number one, the position gate will send the advance to the next channel um, channel here on the mixer sequencer module 1050. Stepping through manually now. Now I turn down the VCF again and I take the clock now from the 1027 bring in some reverb playing around with the envelopes a little bit I can change the overall pitch or per individual channel. Okay, so one more thing. Suppose we just want to use the first six steps of every sequence and combine these first six steps to an 18 step sequence. So how are we going to do this? We take the position gate number six output slot and run this cable into the reset slot here on the 1027 and I do this manually again first. You see how now everything is jumping to the next channel after six steps. Playing with the attenuators again. going into high speed anyway that's about it have fun experimenting
All right, friends, that was using the 1050 as a sequential switch for the 1027 step sequencer. As a reminder, I will make another tutorial in which I demonstrate the audio mixing capabilities of the 1050 mix sequencer. In the meantime, kindly watch some of my other videos and please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so yet. Your support is always highly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again in my next video. Until then, take care, stay safe and peace.